Well, Baker Mayfield's back in Cleveland for a home opener against the Texans. Rex, what do you think you're going to see from him today? Yeah, I tell you what, just like he's he's been doing ever since Kevin Stefanski got there, play his tail off. I don't know why. Hey, just pay the man. He's everything you guys told me he was right here with uh, Kevin Stefanski. He's a perfect quarterback for their their football team, and he got nothing else to prove to me. Wow. Yeah, well, guys, let's talk about Josh Allen here, okay? What You saw what happened last week against Pittsburgh, okay? They did not blitz him, and he struggled. Why? Because they said, hey, Josh Allen's one of the best in the game versus the blitz. Well, guess what? What do the Miami Dolphins do just about more than anybody? They blitz. They play blitz man, which is a strength of Josh Allen. Very interesting to see that chess match today and how it'll play out. Time now for Seconds to Schefter. Take it away, Adam. All right, Sam, some notable debuts today in Cleveland. The Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski gets to coach his first game in front of fans in the dog pound. Hasn't happened so far. The Browns' former second-round draft pick, Grant Delpit, ruptures his Achilles in training camp last summer. He'll make his NFL debut today, and the Browns have made their backup quarterback, Case Keenum, a captain for today's game against the Texans. Keenum, of course, played for the Texans and went to Houston. And DeAndre Swift was the questionable tomorrow night. He is expected to play for the Lions, barring a setback, Sam. Good stuff. Thanks, Adam. To Pittsburgh we go. You know, it kind of felt wrong last year. What's Heinz Field without the terrible towel? An empty stadium didn't keep the Steelers from starting 11-0. But have you ever thought of what they would have been with a little help? Today, it'll look more like this. Seattle's great. Arrowhead's crazy. But mm. there's... Something about this place, the colors, the history, and now they put it all together as the black hole relocates in the east. Everybody has their traditions, but if anybody from Western PA will tell you, there's nothing quite like this. Coming out of that tunnel, seeing the whole place swirling yellow towels it just it, it, it is what Pittsburgh football is it's what the Steelers are it's a symbol of still a nation it is like a flag for a country a terrible towel is the symbol that you're in Heinz Field it lets, lets you know that you're messing with not only the Pittsburgh Steelers but with the fan base as well I now pronounce you husband and wife that towel like I said is everywhere in and out of this world I have Colonel Mike Fink NASA astronaut and a native son of Pittsburgh go Steelers yeah. Well, they better have those things ready because the Raiders are coming in hot. I don't, this is an interesting look right there. I'm just going to leave that alone. Derek Carr off a monster game, 430 passing yards. It is Sunday in an overtime win. Big Ben getting rid of the ball quickly as anybody, but not exactly throwing for 400. He's gone 2-5 and five against the Raiders, actually the worst record against any other AFC team. For more on the matchup, here's Michelle Steele in Pittsburgh. Thanks, Sam. Gruden's message to his team. The Raiders have gotten close to the postseason, but here's what guys are telling me about how Gruden sees this matchup. He sees today and that win over the Ravens Monday as exactly the kind of games that will get them over the hump and prove that the Raiders are a real playoff team. Now, this might be the most dramatic game of the day. The Raiders expect this to be a very physical game. No team going to blow the other out. It'll come down to one or two plays, really go down to the wire. That's how the Raiders see it. Finally, let's recognize this elite Pittsburgh defense. I spoke to three-time Pro Bowler Melvin Ingram, who says every defensive position group is going to be a part of slowing down tight end Darren Waller. Expect two eyes on him on every snap. Ingram is feeling confident because of all the playmakers they have on this defense. He told me this is 100% the best defense he's seen in his 10-year career. Sam? Wow, pretty impressive. Look, I, to me, this is the most exciting game of the day because they both played so well last week, but there are still some questions about consistency. I don't know if you saw uh, Derek Carr in his postgame press are talking about his career arc and how that game was sort of yeah. like the roller coaster of his career. Yeah. It's good. It's crap. It's good. It's crap. I, I think it's really interesting because we don't know if they can put it together in another week. Rex, at this point, who do you have more confidence in between these two teams? Man, oh, man, I tell you. I mean, I, I look at Pittsburgh, and I have confidence in that defense. You know, Melvin Ingram, no, no surprise, said it's the best defense he's been around. I've been around a lot better, so have you. But anyway, <laughs> 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 yes. but as I'm looking at it, they have such a great defense. I think that's the only unit 
that I totally believe in. Look, the Raiders, when you look at them, I mean, that pass rush they put on last week against the Ravens, that was impressive. But today, I, I mean, I, I'm expecting there to be a lot of, lot of pressure. But Ben Roethlisberger, as you mentioned, Sam, he gets rid of the ball so fast, it's too fast. And, and last week, I'm sitting here, we're all watching the games together. That first half, I'm like, oh, my gosh, he's done. Like, he looked terrible. Second half, he comes back. Oh, he's still Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> like, you know, so to me, that's going to be the issue right here with, you know, how big Ben plays. He looked old to me at times uh, last week. But then when it all counted the most, he was there and got it done. Yeah, I saw the same things, Rex. I mean, balls dying on him like that. And, I mean, Moss, I mean, you know, I mean, size him up for a gold jacket. He's going. I mean, yeah. he is that type of player. He's special, okay? But sometimes you just look at him and it's like he has to get rid of the ball quick because he can't get away from any pressure. Is the arm shot? It didn't look live, okay, in week right. one. And that's just the thing. Week one. We're in week one. How's it going to lead week, week, week 16, week 17? There's a long way to go for an aging quarterback, but that defense and the special teams just has to carry him. Yeah, and listen, I, I actually have more trust to your question, Sam. I have more trust in this Pittsburgh, Steve, Pittsburgh Steelers team because I feel like I have seen this movie, movie before. I feel like I have seen Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos go win a Super Bowl with just incredible defense, Really good special teams who can score, like the Pittsburgh Steelers did last week. They mm. scored on special teams. And then a quarterback who turns from gunslinger to point guard. And I really think that's just the mentality that has to happen for some of these older quarterbacks as they finish out their career. And you can play good football as a point guard. I mean, I think we saw Drew Brees do it. Right. Uh, you throw out Tom Brady because he's sort of like the outlier here. But I still think that this team right here, Pittsburgh, can be special. And you look at what they did against a very good Buffalo team last yep. week, that was very, very impressive. And so it's okay that your quarterback is aging. You can still find a way to get it done. With the addition of Melvin Ingram coming to this team, we talked about T.J. Watt last week, getting his contract extension. But bringing Melvin Ingram to a team like this where you got two guys that you don't need to bring no extra help with, that's scary. And so when I look at this game against the Raiders – you're talking about, Rex, 19 targets to Darren Waller, the tight end. That's very impressive, and he did his thing last Monday night. But you're talking about one of the best defenses, arguably, in the National Football League. And I'm not talking this year, and I'm not talking the year before that. I'm talking about their consistency of playing great defense in Pittsburgh. So, for me, looking at this game with Carr, no Josh Jacobs. He's a little wounded today. So, for me to mm -hmm. go up against this, game, uh, this team with the Las Vegas Raider, knowing that your tight end had 19 targets, I'm still looking for the outside help for the Las Vegas Raider. You just brought in a guy that had the highest combine in so many years with, with rugs. So yep. for me, this, looking at yeah. this game, they have to have some outside help because with those two pass rushers, they're not bringing any help with them. They're not going to let Darren Waller keep running up seams, keep running deep crossing route. They're going to get to the quarterback before then. So be able to get it into those pass catchers' hands quickly and let them run after the catch. Sam, what you said to start all this was, was so right because what I see with the Las Vegas Raiders is a team that can beat anybody in the league one week. Yeah. yeah, you can do it. You yes. can surprise anyone. Yeah. You go, Chiefs, heck yeah, I might pick you versus the Chiefs. Buccaneers, I don't know if you, but hey, you beat them too. But on a week-to-week -week basis, that type of consistency, that type of, I don't know, is yeah. it coaching, is it playing, is it your emotional, mental state, yeah. just like Derek Carr is talking about his career, that's just the way it's been with this team until they learn to start stringing them together. They'll just be average to me. And this is a chance for them to string a couple wins together today. And a way to put it into numbers, like you guys talking about 19 targets. Like Randy, okay? You're like maybe the best ever played. Maybe. Have you had 19 targets? Never. Never. Yeah. Never. Yeah. That's Waller? ridiculous. Yeah. And now let's just say you did have 19 targets. What, would, it. what would you, ex what, what would you expect? The, <laughs> what would you expect the very next week? They're not going to let you Three be the reason. Three or four guys on me. Yes, exactly. Sir. And so yeah. that's what some of these guys, in this case Waller, that's what he's going to start facing. To your point, he's going to start facing that kind of stuff. And then who else can play their best football? Yeah. Who else can you know step yes, up yes. and take this team and get yeah. a victory? That's Long the biggest question. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what we know for sure is it's going to be close. If history tells us anything, the last four times they've played, this game has been decided by exactly three points. So even if you aren't a fan of either of these teams today, watch this game because it's going to be a good one. Can't wait to see that in Pittsburgh today.